I was recently asked if I could create a QR code. I'd never created one before. I'd seen them, of course, but I'd never made one before. So I should have said no. Unfortunately, I said yes, which then meant I needed to work out how to make QR codes. Turns out in Excel, it's pretty simple and we can do it for free. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So if you're ready, let's get started. So if we want to generate QR codes, what we need is an API service that generates those images for us. Then using the image function, we can connect to those images and then display them inside Excel. One such service is quickchart.io. There are others available such as goqr.me and the Google API. To use quickchart, all we need is a URL. So HTTPS colon slash slash quickchart.io forward slash QR question mark text equals and then after that we place the text that we want to use inside our QR code. There's also lots of parameters that we can use around the format, the margin, the size, what dark color and light color are used. We can also include images in the center of our QR code. There's a link to this article in the descriptions box below so you can find out what parameters are available. So having started off with this original URL, I then brought it across into Excel. So you can see here in cell C3, we have HTTPS colon slash slash quickchart.io forward slash QR question mark text equals, and then I've just linked it to excelofthegrid.com. So that creates my URL, and then I've simply placed the image function into cell C10, that's a merged cell, which means that that image now generates and shows a QR code for excelofthegrid.com. Now, as you look down the parameters that are available for customizing our QR code, you can see here I've added in a center image, which includes the logo for Excel Off The Grid, and that logo is linked to the image on my website. So again, that's just an image function that's linked to this URL. We can also change the dark and the light colors. So this image here is from this URL and I've given different hexadecimal numbers to represent the dark and light colors. One of the parameters that they have is around error correction. So anytime we use an image, it always has high error correction. But if we want a simpler QR code, we can enter L as the EC level parameter and that just creates a simpler QR code with less pixels. So if we have the image function in Excel, which is if you have Excel 365 or using Excel online, all we need is that function and then a URL with the relevant parameters and we can easily create a QR code. If you don't have the image function or you don't want something that's quite as dynamic, for example, if you actually want to keep the images that are generated, then VBA may be a better solution. And here on the screen, you can see the code that helps us to generate QR codes based on that same quickchart.io URL. So we start by declaring where our QR code will be placed. Then we pick up cell C3. So this is the URL that we'll use to generate our image. Next, if we have a QR code that we've already generated, that's been called QR code VBA, we're just going to delete that image so that we only have one QR code on this page. We then create a shape based on the URL that's declared in cell C3. So that inserts that image onto our worksheet. Finally, we then name that image. We give it a top, a left, a height, and a width. So let's run this and see if it generates a QR code for us. Fantastic, just took a second or so. You can see that we now have that QR code and it's exactly the same to the image function that we used above. And this now is an image that we can move around and use. We can copy and paste it somewhere else. We can use it for any other purposes. Now, because of our section of code here, if I rerun this code, it will delete that original image and then generate a new one. Fantastic, look at that. We now have this dynamic QR code that generates every time we run this macro. So we could easily attach it to a button so that it runs whenever we need it to. 
So we've seen that we can use VBA to generate a QR code. So the next natural question is, can we do it with Office Scripts? And the answer is yes. Now, Microsoft have been very kind to us because in their Office Scripts reference library of sample scripts, they've actually shown us the code that we need to use so that we can take an image from the internet and place it onto the worksheet. So what I'm about to show you here is heavily based on this piece of code which Microsoft have provided for us. And there'll be a link to this post in the descriptions box below. Here on the right, you can see my Office script. I've started here by declaring my worksheet. Then after that, I state where my URL is. So it's in cell C3. And finally, I state where I want to place my QR code. After that is all of the information that I got from the Microsoft website. So this is their code. And all I've done is commented and changed some of the variable names. Then just like our VBA solution, we then try and delete any previous QR code that's been generated. And then finally, we add our QR code, we name it, we set the top, the left, the height, and the width. So if you want a copy of this code or the VBA code, you can find a link in the description box below. So let's run this script. Look at that, fantastic. We now have our QR code inserted into our worksheet. And just like the VBA solution, this is a shape that we can move about. We can copy and paste it to other locations. And if we were to change the cell C2 and rerun this script, it would delete that additional image and then regenerate a new one. So if this is a solution that you're likely to use a lot, then why not attach this to an Office Scripts button and it can regenerate whenever you need it to. Well, that's it. That's how we can generate QR codes in Excel in three different ways. Firstly, we have the image function. Secondly, we have the VBA method. And thirdly, we have Office Scripts. So no matter if you're using Excel Desktop or Excel Online, there is a solution for you there. Now, if you like what we teach and would like to learn how to automate Excel, then why not head over to our training academy and check it out over at excelofthegrid.com forward slash academy. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.